This is Mark Munoz, you're watching philippinenews.com. On uh, FS Cab, but it's not torn. So obviously, uh, it's something about, I would assume, about the way Manny punches, that this is the second fight that he's hurt uh, uh, his leg. Uh, because it didn't happen, certainly, in the Provodnikov fight or in the Marquez fight. What did you say? What? Obviously, tonight was quite a He said tonight was an evenly matched fight, and he wants you to talk about the comparison between now and May 3rd. Oh, okay, good. As the victim of Post the Gate, <laughs> here at the uh, brilliant MGM, uh, they're now welcome to uh, the event on uh, May 3rd, a 15 to 1 fight, an appearance fight, which they can sell any way they want. But for me, I come from an era where people paid money to see competitive fights like the one we saw tonight. And uh, uh, as I said, I'm so proud of Manny and Tim. They did themselves proud, they did the sport proud. And I'm very proud of all the young men on the undercard. Uh, these were competitive fights. You don't have to have big names in 25 to 1 fights like we have on one of the fights on the May 3rd undercard. You know, uh, a guy who is uh, facing somebody who hasn't fought in two years. And that's pretty big. That's pretty big. And really, a lot of times the public, with all the hype and so forth, isn't aware of that stuff. And you journalists have an obligation to point it out. And if I do it, you also have an obligation to point it out. I'm not immune. Will you try to seize upon that outrage that may be out there and, and push hard instead of going to the Marquez Alvarado route, push for Manny to, to get Floyd next? Would I what? Would I what? Will you, will you push hard, given that there may be more outrage over who Floyd is fighting next, for a Pacquiao maybe? Well, whoever Manny is going to fight, one thing you're going to be able to say is that it's competitive. And we all have different we all have different views on boxing as to what's competitive and what's not. So I would suggest that you check with the race and sport books. And if the odds are close, then it's competitive, at least going in. And if the odds are very wide, then it probably is not competitive. Excuse me? Bad for boxing because it's so one sided. Boxing survives anything, everything. And the Mayweather fight, I don't think is bad for boxing. It's bad for the public, who is gonna be uh, uh, talked to about spending good money to see nonsense. And it's bad for a property like MGM, which continues to peddle non-competitive matches. That's who it's bad for. As far as boxing is concerned, it will survive. HBO, by and large, only puts on competitive fights. I can't speak for the other guys. Yeah, the Provodnikov Algeria fight is, is competitive. No, it's not competitive. Why? Because you say so? He has Algeria. Alg Algeria has lost the fight. Now, if you disagree and you feel that it's not competitive, by all means, write it. You have that obligation to write it. I'm a co promoter of that fight. Write it. I believe it's competitive. I believe it'll be a good, interesting fight. But who am I? If you feel otherwise, by all means write it. But at the same time, write it about Mayweather. Don't not write it because he'll deny you access. That's what I gotta say, Kevin, because I ain't gonna deny anybody access. I love access. Oh, Bob. Yeah. Bob. I can't hit it. Bob is in the, in the first.
first fight with uh, Pacquiao and Bradley, uh, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but this time around, were you surprised it was such a fire fight right, right in the beginning? Because a lot of thi a lot of things in life are luck. And the Bradley that fought Pacquiao the first time is not the Bradley who fought him tonight. This was a Bradley who was very, very confident, had two tough outings with Provodnikov and Marquez, and had a lot more confidence in himself. And he realized something. The bulb went off in his head. Yeah, I could go in a ring, stick it out, and try to win a decision, that's good. But if I go into the ring and I give the fight at the, at the fans at the thing, entertaining fight, then win or lose, my value goes up. And that's true. The value of Timothy Bradley tonight, even though he lost, did not go down. It went up. Everybody who follows boxing is going to want to see Tim Bradley's next fight. Bob. Who? Right here. And the guy's in his dressing room. I haven't talked to him yet. Well, I mean, come on, Lance. Um, you said Tim Bradley's value went up. Okay, what is next? What might be next for him? What might be next for you? Look, 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 look. That, that, I always regard those questions as being somewhat unfair. Guys have just had a fight. Unless we're doing a tuna fight and then going to another fight, I haven't discussed it with either either side, I mean, it, you know, and to throw out names just is wrong. And then I think what we're looking at, as this is Manny is concerned, is the winner of Marquez Alvarado. Because that's been talked about and so far. But I haven't talked to Tim about when he's going to fight again and who he's going to fight. Well, because I take the position that if it's none of my business, don't say anything. But they made it my business by forcing the MGM to put up cockamamie posters and signs all over this property in conjunction with me doing a major fight. So it became my business. When he fought Guerrero, what the hell was I to say? But they made it my business, and it is my business. I mean, I'm 82, but I've always had one mantra, don't screw with me.